Hey there, today we're going to make some tangrams as part of our geometry unit. We were reading this book called The Warlord's Puzzle, which is a book about an ancient Chinese warlord who receives a gift, which is a blue tile that falls onto the floor and cracks into seven pieces. And um, the story is about everybody who tries to reassemble it back into the shape of the tile. And so here's the tangram at the back of the book. And it's made up of two large triangles, two small triangles, one medium triangle, a square, and a parallelogram. So I took a picture um, of the shape and then I import it into my Silhouette Cameo um, program and I traced it and then I sent it to the cutter and it's cutting out those shapes and I made two sets, one for my fourth grader and one for my eighth grader. So here I am uh, taking those shapes off of the cutting mat and I made it a little bit larger than the um, than the diagram at the back of the book because I can manipulate the size in the program and so I made it fill um, a 9 by 12 inch piece of paper. And so here I am going to go ahead and try to assemble it and I do, I am aware of where a couple of the pieces go because I spent this time trying to um, you, know, cut, you know, shape them and cut them in my program and so I still have a, a tough time of it and after about five minutes, I start to doubt whether I have actually cut all the pieces or if I've even cut them correctly. And so I refer to the book just to be certain, and that's just enough of a hint to get me um, to complete the, the puzzle. And so now that it's done, I bring the sets out to my kids, and my fourth grader is working on it, and there is my eighth grader who has a lot of the pieces in the correct place and he actually is able to finish it and my fourth grader takes a little bit more time trying to assemble it. I think he takes about, um, I think everybody attempted for about five to ten minutes before we needed one or two hints to kind of help us along the way. These puzzles are deceptively easy. They really, they once you remove the pieces from the square and you shuffle them around, it's really difficult to put them back together. So if you've never tried this, I urge you to download the template that you can find at my blog at pepperandpine.com. Go ahead and cut it out and try to assemble it yourself because it's not as easy as it looks. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching.